Hey guys, summer is finally here. Welcome to Visaya Quickly. Last week, we talked about time of flight and radar. Today though, we're going deeper. Like, did you know radar come in different frequencies? Or let's say, genres. On the lower end of frequencies. Let's start with one gigahertz, please. If you have a bypass or moist, steamy applications, one gigahertz is exactly what you need. I like to think of it as a very wide sound. In any condition, the one gigahertz always gets the job done. Just remember, it needs to be guided in order to work. But who will mind to be guided with a voice like this? Please take a seat, enjoy. Because this device is all about being shaken, not stirred, and it's perfect with mixers. Had a hard week? That's fine, because 6 GHz radar works in agitators and wherever you have turbulence and foam. It's like having a soft jazz song at a cocktail bar, helping you relax when everything is shaking around you. If you want the signal to hit the spot, just make sure to bring the big antennas. Cheers! Now we come to 26 GHz, the mainstream. It's the most popular level radar on the charts, used in 9 out of 10 applications. I like to think of it as a pop song. It's loved by everyone, teenagers, grandmothers, from liquids to solids. This radar gets thumbs up from everyone. Just make sure to bring your bodyguard with you, because it doesn't deal well with interference and needs a clear path to work. Lastly, 80 gigahertz is an acquired taste, a little bit like a metal song. It has a large dynamic range. You can measure almost anything from beer to rocks. Just like the dynamic range of a metal song, heavy low guitars mixed with high pitched singing. With its small antenna and exceptional focusing, it gets straight through your ears. So, there's a genre and a frequency for everybody. I have to get changed, but if you want to learn more, head out to our website. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.